it is time for an update all right so i have the three doff completely disassembled at this point we've got the uh traction loss frame over there i've got the uh, mid frame down there with the rails mounted onto it and then there's the it's the front trolley with the motors on it and then I've got the rear trolley with the u-joint mounted to it and then got the top frame added on to that um, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to weld the the um, piece of metal that's going to connect the rear frame the rear trolley to the front trolley because otherwise uh, with the connecting rods on if there's any sort of weight on there then that trolley just just shoots out that way right so I have clamps on there to hold the trolley in place and then um, I've got to grind out that a little bit weld on uh, that on so that way it'll hold the front trolley and the rear trolley stationary so that way I can slide it back and forth with it all connected and then I'm not sure if we can see from this angle yeah you could you should be able to get a pretty good view there but you can see that um, the motors have been raised a pretty good amount and so the front this distance right here is significantly more than that distance back there so we've got to chop the connecting rods that are right there underneath right there chop those connecting rods and then the other one over there right there chop that one um get those measured to whatever size they need to be basically chop them and then lower this until it's completely level and then re-weld those at the height they need to be and at that point i'll basically have the rolling um, chassis um, if i didn't have this um, all pinched off with the with the clamps back there then I, i'd show you that it rolls i did a lot of work yesterday on getting the the rails oops, oops, knocking everything over tight space getting the the rails and the trolleys rolling because they were sticking uh, previously because the way that I had weld, welded the rails up is I just welded them to that um, the wooden beam that's down there um, I welded it to that wooden beam under there and just kind of twisted them and guessed um, how they needed to be on there basically and so then when I added the two trolleys on there actually put the rails together first and then built the trolleys off of that but i must have had some sort of twist or something in the rails because they would only work they would work perfectly in the first third and perfectly in the last third but the middle they just would not transition they would get stuck it was splitting the beams or um splitting the the rails like the the two rails on either side that hold those those would get split outwards as it moved closer so um after i after i had the both trolleys built basically to the width of this uh i'm not sure what that is is that like a two by eight whatever it is two by six whatever it is um i had the the rails built to that but then i noticed the rails were since there are three separate box sections welded together they they were just terrible like i'm just terrible at welding a and b this fabrication requires like a lot more precision a lot more tools like an actual welding table um i'm doing most of this off of this tile flooring here which is not straight and i have a lot of straight areas to work off of basically so um i had to take the rails apart completely uh well i just took one of the rails off the most warped rail shaved it off completely re-welded uh you know pounded it into shape and then re-welded the top section of it uh and then it was looking pretty good put it back on there and then i put this the the um 
the trolley with the u-joint i put that one on the rails and put it in the middle of the rails and then welded them um welded the rails um onto the those like metal cross beams and stuff uh there's no one right there so that way it would basically fit and after doing that it solved the problem i was having with there being way too much tension on the rails and them being twisted or uneven or whatever the problem was was terrible so that is resolved that took a lot of time yesterday to figure that out and then get that work done and then towards the end of the day um, i broke down my motion simulator and carried it all outside and then once i had it out here i i needed to see it mocked up i needed to i uh, just welded the u-joint um plate onto the tro the rear trolley and then um i had already welded up the front trolley i know the last video i didn't have the sides welded but i welded that up off camera so i got the motors mounted to see how that looked and then yesterday it was pretty much left like this but i didn't have um it was just kind of flopped down the the uh, lever arms weren't at 90 degrees but anyway um next steps oh uh, last thing i also did I, I had to see what the motors would look like mocked up Ugh. so i think i'm going to do something like that let's just take that off and move you forward all right so this used to be um this two by four this one right here um held the traction loss motor and then the old um, caster wheels for the traction loss system, it braced basically like this part connected to the, the front part connected to the two by four there. And then since it wasn't, it wasn't designed like these were, where it has this V neck to distribute, it was just straight and then had a plate off of it. A, it made it a lot taller, uh, but B, it also made it to where um the there was a lot of tension at the end and they were just bending up so i had to put a two by four there to brace them and that's what i mounted the traction loss motor on um so now i'm going to keep this idea move the traction loss motor all the way out to to the edge and then mount the surge motor right there and so the surge motor will then be connected to this trolley um right there i'll make a, a brace to connect that uh lever or that um connecting arm to the the trolley uh, again after i get it welded up getting it welded up and making those two things one solid piece is you know the most important part then i need to make back plates uh for these um for these two trolley wheels like clean them up get all this crap out of here make back plates drill the back plates and then the back plates are going to get mounted to these two two by fours i'll probably have like four screws in here and two screws in here for each one of those and then these will basically uh, hang off the back like that i'll probably have the caster wheels on the outside like so get the caster wheels welded up um, to whatever angle they need to be at uh, which will change because these are moving significantly further um, back. The original caster wheels would have been like right pat, right where the U-joint used to be, which is still further forward. They were inside the frame. The entire caster wheels were fully inside the frame. These ones will be fully outside the frame. So, uh, but that's, you know, that's the only place I can put them. Uh, I can't put them any closer inboard because... There's not enough room for that caster wheel to sit in that direction, keeping it as low as I want it to stay with the, the rails on either side. There's only like four and three quarter inches on each side uh, from the rail to the outside of the frame, I want to say. So, uh, got to get that done and then got to rebuild the traction loss frame completely. It's, it's standing on its side like this. We're going to make all of it flat like that. So, uh, and then I need to see how 
this is where the old wheels, those are the tracks the old caster wheels rode on. And since we're moving them significantly further back, I need to make sure that this is actually long enough for um, the, the position of the new caster wheels. But we will also be moving this U-joint uh, pretty much all the way to the front. And then redoing that U-joint, making it significantly shorter if I can. First of all, I'm going to cut these off, make a flat plate that I can just screw into the wood. And then second of all, um, seeing if I can shrink this down at all while, you know, still keeping the pivot. So that's got to be fully redesigned. What are you doing, Tiny Keon? And then after I get all that done, Okay, yes, okay. Oh, let's say hi. This is Tana Kyoshin. Okay, uh, after I get all that done, I really, since I have this sitting right there, I think it's time to create the Voltron of motion simulators. We need to, we need to put the G-seat on this simulator. Uh, I'm going to do that probably before I do the traction loss, just to see what the weight's like, see what it does to the trolleys, see if it still moves and it's fluid. And then of course I'm going to sit in the G-seat with it on there. Um, I'll probably do it without having the, the wheel hoop, whatever you call it, that thing right over there on there. Um, it's, it does add forward weight, uh, but it's really not that much and I really just need to see if the total weight of that, I, I really think that thing weighs about 120 pounds. I really do. So I need to see if the weight of that, plus the 200 pounds that I weigh, is just going to be too much for my bearings and trolleys. And I'm really hoping it's not. And if it's not and everything's good there, then... Then we will test it with the um, traction loss on the traction loss frame. And if that looks good and the mechanics look like every, you know, the, the construction looks like it'll hold the weight for that, then the next step will be to test the motors and to see if the motors can move that much weight. And if everything goes perfectly, then ideally this G seat will end up on this motion simulator. Um. That's definitely not, I wouldn't consider it a six off, but um, I'll have a G seat that replicates um, heave, surge, and sway, and then a Ford off that directly replicates surge and traction loss, and then have pitch roll, and then a little bit of heave, a little bit of surge in the, the front motors. But um, this is the latest stage where we're at right now. I'm going to move i gotta move my welder over here to be able to weld all this up so once i move my welder over i'm gonna get that beam welded not the cat but the uh the center beam yeah you can get the center beam in between there welded up then uh and then i'm probably just gonna play with it for a little bit because i worked so hard to get to this point anyway we'll talk to you guys later